I hope all is good and well with this camera setup right now because it's been definitely a while since I've ridden the dirt bike. She is all good, ready to go. We're about, blah, blah. We're about to hit the hills out here in Elsinore. It's approximately 94, feels like 98. So I'm going to definitely regret it. Nevertheless, it should be a good day because today we are riding with Mr. Broom Broom Dana, Ms. Deeps, and then uh, a friend that she bought with, brought, <laughs> bought. But I forgot his name, so I'm sorry. Uh, but yeah, it's gonna be the four of us. Hopefully uh, it's gonna cool down in a bit because I do not feel like riding at all in the seat. Not looking forward to this at all. So since there's fences everywhere, this is the new way we gotta go. Everyone makes it look so easy. It's not easy. Don't mind me. <laughs> Thanks, Dana. It turns out this whole time. What the? Someone left their tricycle out here. Is that a cactus in your hand? That looks like it hurts. Oh, there's a cactus stuck to my boot. Ow! 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 Get it off! Get it off! Get it off! I need to. It's in my. I can't pull it off. All right. So we already know how today is gonna go. Obviously, a lot of cactus, me falling on like simple things like this. I feel really sketchy today. I'm kind of scared to be honest. The thing is, this bike is a lot of bike compared to the 150 that I recently was riding. So getting used to this bike is one thing. Learning the bike is another thing. Learning how to ride a two stroke after a four stroke. And then on top of that, being in the worst conditions of Lake Elsinore, just this super dry heat, like everything's really slippery, it's rocky. I don't, I'm not experienced enough to be able to handle, you know, just throwing the bike around. So I just kind of slow down and take my time getting through some of the easy things that would be easy for other people, but I mean, I, I kind of looked back to figure out exactly how long it's been since I started riding dirt. Turns out, not even two years. Is something happening? What? I thought you were talking about a hill climb. I didn't know you were trying to jump off that ledge and then go down the hill. This is crazy. I'm scared right now. Oh, he's gonna do it. He's gonna do it. Oh! Oh! Oh my god! He is like next level pro right now. With a wheelie up the hill, like it ain't no thing. One way to get here.
the video where I ate it, the, the most dumb stupid fall I've ever had in my life, yeah, well, it was here. Cause you're like, oh, it's a fire trail, I'm just gonna relax, no. So you guys obviously remember when I flew eight feet off that massive rock. That was literally the last time I rode, I think. I'm pretty sure. Well, I, there's another rock out here that we've done before on the CRF. It's a lot bigger than the one I flew eight feet off of. Given today's uh, lack of skill, I should say, um, I will not be attempting this rock because I know how it's gonna end. Where is it? Oh, here it is. Is he about to attempt this with like no instruction right now? What is the Vroom Vroom Delight? I don't remember what it is, I'm kind of scared. All right, Dana's taking us to, I forget what he called it just now. Dana, Dana Wonderland or something like that. Something ridiculous. Is that a pile of tires? Someone brings them out here and just, they built a fort, that's a fort. I want to go in the fort. This is where I'm going to scratch my bike for sure. Oh! Bad place to stop. <laughs> uh, definitely should have went that way where Deeps went. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> yeah, I think I'm just gonna chill up here. I promise you guys though, when I kind of figure out what I'm doing in a little while, probably, you know, if I ride a lot in the next few weeks or so, I'll come back here and I'll go through that. to go down this. <laughs> My beautiful beta. It seems like a long time. I'm just gonna go ahead and 
gonna slide my bike right underneath the fence. You know what I mean? <laughs> A little sketchy, but it works, it works. 